what are we talking about today? Vagina. Ugh. Okay. This is for you guys. Hello you guys, I hope you guys are all doing well and having a great day so far. If you are new to my channel, then please subscribe. And if you are not new to my channel, then welcome back. Today, I want to talk to you guys about a very intimate topic. Um, and I don't know why I feel so um, giddy. Uh, giddy or just, I don't know if it's like uncomfortable. I don't know, it's just like a, a topic that nobody ever talks about forbidden, I guess. I feel like I have to um, keep my voice down for this video so my toddler doesn't hear what her mother is saying. But yeah, this video is talking about what it's like to be intimate after having a baby. And first, I want to just be 100% honest with you guys and talk about the, I guess, worries that came into mind um, with that area and everything um, before having a baby and after having a baby and um, just like misconceptions of certain things. So to be honest, before giving birth to my first child, my concern with that area, you guys can tell I'm just like, how do I talk about this? But um, my concern, honestly, as a female, as a woman, was what is it going to look like down there? And is it gonna feel different? And will my hubby to be, be totally like turned off by um, just everything going on down there after I have a baby? And I, I legitimately had this concern and I remember asking my friends and family like do things stay the same down there? Do you notice a difference? Does your husband um, ever complain about certain things? And um, I even googled this stuff you guys because it was like an actual concern to me. And there's like society and everything puts it in your mind that like, oh, after a girl like gives birth to a child, it's just not the same down there at all. And so I just had like this concern, like pretty much like that part of my life, my sex life was just going to be over. And I am just still in my 20s and I just felt like, uh, I don't know, I didn't want it to be over. After having a baby, they tell you to wait about six weeks before you can be intimate with your partner again. And I waited longer than six weeks just because I was afraid of just, I don't know, taking that next step. I needed stitches after giving birth and I wasn't sure how it was gonna feel down there, if it was just going to be like a numb feeling, if it was gonna be painful. And um, I just wasn't sure if it was going to um, live up to expectations, I guess, for, for me and my fiance. To my surprise, my relief, and hopefully this brings some relief to you guys, um, everything is still working and everything was better than expected and better than what it was before having a baby. I think that everybody's experience is different and everybody's body is different. And I just know that I had just an amazing doctor on my side after I gave birth and they actually specialized in vaginal reconstruction. 
um, yeah, my doctor, my OBGYN used to do that in the past and then he just like full time became like an OBGYN. So I didn't know this beforehand, but I totally lucked out, I think, in that situation. And he ended up just putting stitches in. I think he may have even gave me like some extra stitches. And I think that combined with waiting longer, um, like the six, longer than the six weeks, really helped our situation as well. And I also had read about um, online and also heard from my doctor to do the Kegel exercises. If you are a female, I highly recommend Googling Kegels because it's not just for you. <laughs> it's something that um, your partner will appreciate as well. And it just gives you a lot more control, I guess. And it gave me a lot more confidence. If you guys don't know what Kegels are, go ahead and pause this video now and Google it because I just, feel too sensitive to really go into details on like how to explain how to do it and everything but yes so get your kegel information and then come back to me I waited probably about eight to ten weeks until we actually got intimate again after having the baby and um, yeah it wasn't painful for me it was um i guess a little bit a little tender like where the spot was but i was very healed where my stitches were and i completely made sure that all of my stitches had to come out before we attempted anything it wasn't painful and i absolutely loved to be honest little children out there hopefully you're not watching this video but anybody that is younger than 18 just turn this video off and um, for those that are 18 and older just know that um, I absolutely loved my vagina after having a baby I loved how it looked I loved how it felt I just feel that that whole idea and the people who say Females that have babies, they have disgusting body parts afterwards, and I have to tell you guys that that is a complete lie, especially in my case. It's a complete misconception. I'm not even like a smidgen close to having a disgusting female part down there, and I am just fully in love with the changes that a baby has brought me and I have no shame in my game. I want to say it's nothing's even changed after the second baby. I've had two babies and the second time nothing hurt. I didn't need stitches and nothing has changed from the first one. And if anything, I'm more sensitive down there and I think that has to do with um, giving a vaginal birth and just the lining inside, but I'm more sensitive down there and I don't see that as a negative thing. Kind of just wanted to create this video to tell all of the, like, the worried mommies to be out there that you do not have to be scared of being intimate with your partner after having a baby and you should actually be excited and looking forward to having that moment and those new feelings down there. I have all of my feelings that um, I had before and then some because of the sensitivity and I don't want any females out there um, to have the idea in their head that once they have a baby that their lady areas and parts are just gonna be all like disgusting and it's just not like that at all. It's still just um, a happy place down there. I hope this little video helped you guys out and just to know that um, if you have an understanding partner that is definitely okay with waiting longer than um, six weeks and waiting till you're comfortable, then I think you'll be okay. That is the key, I think to be 100% healed down there just to prevent any um, 
injuries or infections and be comfortable, be relaxed, don't be tense and do your thing. It's not fun to go into just a beautiful thing with a negative mindset. Do your Kegels, get an awesome OBGYN and um, just be patient and embrace your body no matter what you were given, something that um, not every person has. And every single vagina is different and every single body is different and that in itself should never be frowned upon or something to be ashamed about. Take yourself and your lady bits and <laughs> just be super proud of what your mama gave you. I know this video was just a little bit different than what I usually do, but I wanted to go ahead and touch on this topic and hopefully save some of you guys some worries, some stress. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up for love. And if you haven't already, go ahead and follow me on all of my social media accounts. Hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I will talk to all of you guys shortly.